start. All right, cool. All right, so we're going through downtown Traverse City, Michigan, and to our right is a lake. You don't have to show it, man. You can't really see it now. Um, lake, lake Michigan's crazy. So our hotel, Hampton Inn, was right on. Uh, there's Pacino's. That's where we went last night. Pacino's uh, Pizza. That's pretty good. Oh, a peace, love, and little donuts. Oh, man. Bubba's Burger Bar. So here's downtown Traverse City. It's nice, man. It's uh, I mean, it's bigger than I thought, actually. It's um, but it's nice. It's definitely uppity, and I don't mean uppity like negative, like oh, uppity people. I mean, it's just wealthy. That's probably the better word. But there, yeah. See if you can't see the look over here, guys. There's a, there's the lake right there. It's crazy. So our hotel literally overlooked the lake. It was nuts. There's booze, pinball, and arcade over there. Yeah, these guys will buy your motor, your Harley Davidson. You know, you don't want to have a Harley Davidson, do you? You don't want to get hurt in a motorcycle crash. There's a radio station. We are country, 103.5. Calvin's trying to listen to some country. But I am proud to be an Oki from Traverse City. You get caliber, uh, uh, home wounds, priority health, radio center. But Morgan Stanley, yep, you got... You got over here now, some kind of condos or something front credit, uh, credit union. Damn, is that a credit? That can't be the whole building. Is a credit union? That's nuts, dude. Forefront Credit Union. We just ate at some donuts at uh, Third Coast Donut Bakery, which is pretty good. I got Americano, which I did not know was, I guess, an American version of espresso, which I like. I don't know why anyone would just get an espresso unless they're addicted to caffeine which i am not because i go decaf all right so there we go through downtown oh there's water Woo, nelly this guy's trying to park we got people with their dogs we got some old lady right here with her cane going to so uh, horizon books cool we got state theater right here the exorcist is out they Tasted. keep it huh oh, wait is that did that just come out i think it's a new one that just came okay, out because i keep seeing that part yeah it must be a new one and i yeah Peppercorn, Cherry Hill Boutique, Miners, yeah, so this is all kind of high art gallery, Robert Frost, I don't really, I mean, this is uh, Opera House Straight, Bijou Theater, Visitor Center, yeah, this is kind of a, uh, kind of like a bigger version of Camden, Maine, um, but they got, I think, I think cabin up here. I don't think, I wonder how many people live here in the wintertime. I think a lot of it is for, like, in Camden, Maine. Is, oh, they got an Irish pub right there, the pub. Um, and Camden, Maine is, like, in the wintertime is dead, but in the summertime is freaking booming. I bet a lot of these stores are going to be closing down here for the winter. I don't know that, but a lot of times the tourists will leave and, the, you know, the summer people go away. Same thing in Camden, Maine. It's beautiful, but I don't know. Maybe you know, another brew pub up here. Maybe people do live here year-round. I don't know. I don't know. It's big, man. We got uh, Cherry Republic, another pub. Corporate, different kind of Talbot. Oh, that's a real downtown store right there. We got a shoe store right there. I don't know. Maybe it's a real, real place. Maybe people do stay here in the winter time. Oh, there's that Kellens again. Kellens is a franchise everywhere. Route 22, some kind of clothing store. Golden Shoes, Brilliant Books. Oh, they got some local book sellers. That's pretty cool. Unparalleled Apparel, Rocky something, The Camera Shop. Since 1874, a luggage place, that's nuts. Visitor Center, Old Town, let's go to Old Town District. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. We're gonna hit Old Town District. Uh, your a hat store right here. You're not fully dressed without a hat. That's nuts, dude. It says Union Street and it looks like front or something like that. And they're gonna do some. I bet right here is freaking awesome during Christmas time. They got all the lights and everything. But it's cold, amigos. It's uh, 48 degrees and it's windy, very, very windy. First Community Bank, family owned and trusted since 1905. Well, it's always been there since 1905. We got someone who's not walking very fast down the road. All right, we got these guys right here. Pretzel Company. Robertson's Hair Center. Bud Light. My favorite beer, Bud Light. Union Street Station Bar. All right. Yeah, Old Town District. We're going to hit Old Town. 
And they get a lot of freaking restaurants. This can't just be uh, all for the summer people because, I mean, these restaurants would be going kaput. Post office. Oh, look at that place with their cab. I don't know what that is. Some kind of church or something. So here comes the old town. Oh, the Traverse City is pretty nice. What if it's always been, like, uppity? And I say, again, I say uppity, my friends, not like, all right, uppity. I don't mean like that. I mean wealthy is probably, or upper affluent is probably a better word. Because obviously there's a lot of new, like, the hotel we were at was definitely older. But, um, but there's definitely a lot of condos and stuff going up. Yeah, it's like, this is old school down here, you can tell. Michigan planners, insurance brokerage, attorneys at law. Again, Michigan planners over there too. Retirement services. Yeah, you got Michigan planners. How dare you? Let me guess. You can't retire unless you got two million bucks. Yeah, Michigan planners. Michigan planners, how dare you? We got HB Honor Bank right there. Get it. You're loaning money out, HB on our bank. AT&T has the best network. All right. My cameraman, Cabin Scanlon. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a... Looks like they're working on postal vehicles over there. Randy's service. Jasper is Jasper, Indiana. Engines and transmissions. All right, we're going to just check it up here a little bit. Yeah, the Edward Jones optical. Oh, that's freaking Traverse City kicks ass. Big fan, long time. Check out some of the neighborhoods, Cabby, and uh, that ball, too. That's nice. I like it. I like it. I got to watch my political rants because my wife was not too keen on my last video. Because you're too divisive. She said, oh, I think you're going to turn people off. I said, I probably do. Probably. She goes, it doesn't make me want to go to Holland, Michigan with your politics. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. You still recording? What? You still recording? Yeah. yeah. She said that. She goes, I don't want to go to Hall of Michigan now after watching your video. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Tell me that's not freaking beautiful. You see all that right there? Those trees there? Oh, geez. I love it, man. All right. All right. So we'll wind down here. I'll tell you when to stop. All these American flags. That's what I'm talking about. Brown Ridge Quiet Area. People got their U.S. flags and they got another Brown Ridge Quiet Area. Yes, there's some kind of thing. People, uh, I bet Halloween up here is freaking kicking ass and taking names. Assuming they had children up here. The problem with these wealthy towns, they don't have any kids. It's all like retirees. But this, look at that. This is beautiful. I love this, man. Yeah, Traverse City, you're okay by me. You're okay by me. School bus, I got school buses going around. So obviously they got Traverse City area public schools. Obviously they got uh, kids going to school. I mean, they got Halloween stuff. There must be kids running around here. I bet this is freaking lit up on it. Oh, a dead end cemetery. Oh, man. Yeah, these guys are. All right. All right, my friends. Cabin's going to hit enter or stop. You can stop it.